When it comes to having a great customer experience, you can't beat chatting them up. Like the old fashioned ways we used to back in the UK. I come from Nottingham, England, and it was in the early days that I worked for a guy called Pat Britton. He was my boss, he was like my mentor, my hero. He was like a brother to me. He taught me all the moves, how to chat them up, how to make them feel special. Every customer was darling, sweetie, my duck, love, honey. That was just the men. Chatting up the customers was what you did. It became a part of your life, not just the product you were selling, but making them smile. That's what it was all about. My daughter Sophie, she's here. She's going to tell you about chatting them up. Hey, Soph. Here she is. I have five daughters. This is one of many. Hi, Pat. Yeah, hi. Tell, tell everybody about chatting up the customers, uh, the engagement. Well, I think I learned everything that I did learn from old Papa Bear, which um, started, I think, with the wink. And then the don't be afraid to shout across the room and say, hello, how are you? And then call them over. Um, what else have we done, Dad? Oh, we've done everything. What about when the wine bus arrives and you greet 50 people at a time? Yeah, and they all razzle-dazzle. Yeah, how do you do it? How do you handle 50 people all at once? The thing I find, people love you to be firm and fun and fair. So what I always do is just tell everybody to focus and to look at me. And they love it. They love it. Um, so whenever anybody's talking at the back, just get everybody to say, like, hey, this is a family. We're all doing it together. They love it. What about, I've noticed sometimes you're a bit rude to customers in a loving way. <laughs> you, you say, hey, over there, shoot, keep it quiet there, <laughs> way, don't you? Yeah, yeah in yeah. a loving way, in a loving way. But yeah, definitely, I think people really like it. Because genuinely, I think it's really good fun when you're with people and you can have a little bit of a laugh by telling them off and getting them involved with it. And I think as long as people feel involved and that you're making them feel like they really loved being there and that entails them being really focused on what's going on, then they love it. Yeah. It is, but I have noticed a couple of times, and this is true, <laughs> that you've actually abused customers. <laughs> no, it's true. When they're there, I've seen you, you're pouring wine, you say, hey, get over it. You're pouring now. And you yeah. take advantage of them. Yeah, oh, definitely. Yeah. I also, yeah, like to have a glamorous assistant. So whenever I've got a big crowd as well, I tend to use some of the people in the crowd and say, come and be my glamorous assistant and pour out the wine and then hand out the wine, show them a bit of leg, give them a little bit of a wink and a smile. And I think people quite enjoy being part of the team. What about if they're not glamorous? Um, well, we make them feel glamorous and everybody's glamorous inside, Dad, for God's sake, even you. Wow. <laughs>